Hi everyone, I'm here with a quick video for you guys today. I just wanted to get your thoughts on this, if you, um, what you think, to see if I should maybe share these with you when I actually do, uh, when I finish one, or maybe while I'm working on one. But let me know if you'd rather see what you see. This is a new drawing book that I've got. You can see it's hardbound, it's not spiral bound. Um, this is actually a gift to me from my sister, and I wanted to put good use to it. And I wanted to um, start doing, getting back into my lettering, which I haven't done in like forever. But I want to keep it more artistic to not just with the arts, the art flow of the letters. I want to put some um, doodles in it too. <laughs> and you could kind of see some of it through there. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Um, I do actually keep a protection sheet here until everything's inked and dry. Um, I did ink part of this, um, however, off camera because I was... Excuse me. Sorry, I just sneezed. Um, because <laughs> I was excited, wanted to jump into it. So I started it off with a quote from Shakespeare, which I love Shakespeare. Um, he's one of my favorite poets, um, authors, whichever way you want to look at that. And I actually hand drew a skull and gave him some jagged edges here because it kind of plays off of an anime that I'm. Um, really, that I really just got into lately with my daughter. Um, yeah, but if you want to know, I'll I'll let you know. Just you know, ask me below. Otherwise, I'm not going to go into that. Um, but I freehanded the words here. It's uh, "Tis now the very witching time of night when churchyards yawn and hell itself breathes out contagion to this world," and I love that. I figured that is like a great way to open the book because. Um, Nothing ever goes as planned, you know, there's always a hiccup in whatever's going on, um, and you get through it, you know, you have to stay strong, and I really love this for the opening of my, um, my book, and I, I love Poe as well, but what I wanted to know is, do you want to see me inking on camera, or do you, would you like to just see the finished project, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. I think maybe showing the finished project and a little bit about it would probably be the better way to go, so you could see what I'm up to. And if I am stumped, kind of like this one, I'll, you know, come on earlier and then I'll, I could do a, um, a recap and show it to you finished when I'm done. But, um, there are so many, you know, videos out there now with, you know, how to do lettering and whatnot. And I figured that there's a lot of great tutorials, so you can pick them up there. But if you do want to see how I do it, you know, I will do my best to accommodate. But yeah, my question here is with the skull should I mean I definitely want to ink it but should I do some kind of like maybe flowers on the side or tribal art or something um or just leave it as is because I really think that you know it looks nice as it is but I'm wondering if the balance is okay or if I need to add a little bit more maybe to make it seem more balanced out but Yep, that's it. So thank you for joining me to get today, guys. I hope to see you in the next one, and talk to y'all later. Bye.